And with the next single, Randy really started drawing some serious attention. It would become a Randy Travis staple, the classic 1982. Operator, please connect me with 1982. How high did 1982 go? It got to number six or seven. I can't remember which one. That sort of opened the door. Yeah, it, it definitely opened the door for me. 1982 represented Randy Travis's first taste of success. He actually broke the top ten with an anachronistic old-school country sound. The public might yet have some use for this traditional country singer. And now there was a real decision about what his next single should be. I, I was very vocal about re-releasing on the other hand. I'd heard the record on the radio, didn't think I could make a better record than that on Randy Travis, especially at that time, and and felt like there was a, sort of enough indication that, you know, they had gotten an order for 10,000 45s for jukeboxes in Texas, you know, the very first time they put the record out. It had gone to number one in Meridian, Mississippi. There were some places where it had done really well. And all those signs sort of told me that it, it was worth the gamble to put that out again. In an interesting maneuver, less than a year after the first release of On the Other Hand, Warner Brothers would re-release it as Randy Travis's third single. Was On the Other Hand released twice? Yeah, it was released, uh, well, it was about a year ago now, the first time, and it didn't do uh, very well. I think it got up to, like, number 67. And uh, then on 1982, did real well. And then the folks at Warner Brothers wanted to uh, release On the Other Hand again, and I'm glad they did. And it went to number one, of course, with CMA song of the year and it blew up it is randy Travis. Oh. Oh, well, thank the lord for this uh, all the folks at warner brothers have been so good to me and especially martha sharp and i appreciate that and my producer kyle lenning who i think is great and uh, my manager lib hatcher who has always been behind me i love her and thank her so much the result was amazing it was the same song, released two different times in a year, but the difference was stark. With the second issue of On the Other Hand, the industry had decided it was ready for Randy Travis. I just think it was one of those things, Jack, when, you know, it happens from time to time when some, some new voice or something pops up and people, people go, oh, that's what we've been looking for. 